everybody welcome back to my channel today i thought i was gonna do a read aloud again because last time i did the korean grown-up story i decided i was gonna do kira's grown-up story so um as you know i've been doing some grown-up stories um so i read a story about a doll when they're older this time it's gonna be about kira bailey gaudy 2021 and I'm super excited to be reading it aloud, so let's start. Kira's Grown Up Story The Australian Mystery. I'm so tired, Kira exclaimed. It was her first day as an employee for the Australian Wildlife Support Committee. Everybody is tired on their first day. It is hard, said Leah Clark. She is head of international animal care. She has been working there for six years. Kira grabbed her caribou backpack and walked out of the door. The breeze hit her face, and she relaxed. It was the morning, the hot air pressing against her newly cut bangs. It was Kira's second day. She was going to be part of the Silverhead Antikinese care team. Only a few hundred were left. They had one another that they were going to tried to make them mate with. They walked in the building and went straight to the employees only section. Inhale, exhale. Kira breathed. She sighed, then opened the door. The six people who are going to be part of the team are, a voice said. She was introducing the team for this, the new silver-headed Antikinese, Leah Clark, Emily John, Camille Finn, Rain Chow, Kira Bailey, and me, John Greens. Everybody turned and, looked, and turned and looked at each other. The shipment is at the G building, right? Camille said. That same time, John said, we should go to the G building now. Camille covered her mouth and just said it was an itch. Emily grinned. Kira would both ponder, would ponder both of these things later. When the team arrived at the G building, John opened the door. The silver-headed antikinese is here. They walked to a lab and opened the crate. Inside was the silver-headed antikinese. It smelled weakly. The team put the silver-headed antikinese in with the other one. John, Emily said. Heading to the bathroom, the silver-headed antikinese started to play around, and John said they would, could go back to their normal jobs. But Emily didn't come back with them. The next day, the bad news spilled. The silver-headed antikinese got stolen. No, 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 Kira said. She was sad and mad, and she couldn't describe her feelings. Kira decided that she needed to find the silver-headed antikinese. The whole building was in uproar when Kira arrived. She looked and looked. No one had a clue where it was. Kira walked to the building where she started the silver-headed antikinese opening and there lying in the habitat was the silver-headed antikinese what kira shouted then covered her mouth people came rushing in what did you find john asked it kira stammered the silver-headed antikinese is right here after they put the silver-headed antikinese in a more protected and secured place everybody left kira had found the silver-headed antikinese she had found it. This time, she smiled. After the... But the question was still there. What had happened? Was it stolen and then put back? Or was the animal a fake? Kira lay in bed for a while. She heard the sounds of the cane toad and slowly drifted to sleep. So, thank you so much for reading this. Uh, or listening to this. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, and so make sure to uh, come back next time. And please like and subscribe. Bye.